Hello everyone and welcome. Today's date is Thursday, March 21st, 2019. I'm your host, Nick, and welcome to Living in My Car. Today on Nick's vlog, I'm here at the Y where I take a shower and go to the bathroom and stuff like that. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. It's worth the membership fee for that. Anyway, um, I hope everyone's day's going well. It's rather overcast here today. Maybe a Maybe partially. Oh, there's a rainbow over there, man. You see it on film here? You see it in the video? There's a rainbow. Now, according to the Irish, at the end of that rainbow is a pot of gold. So, uh, you gotta get to the end of the rainbow to get that pot of gold. Just gotta get to the end of it. My end's in a uh, porter john, but uh, some people's, uh, I guess, in a pot of gold. And anyway. <laughs> Anyway, um, hope your day's going well. I got my, uh, I had my dinner last night. So I had some folks come over and were very generous and made dinner. And I ate half my dinner last night and I saved half of it. It's pretty cool in here. You know, cool enough overnight that something like this is going to keep. And I'll just have it uh, for like a late lunch, a late uh, breakfast, early lunch. I usually you try to eat something around 2, 2.30, but maybe around noon, 11 noon. 12 noon, I'll eat uh, this. That's nice. Very nice, I think. <laughs> Yo, know, come on, it's very nice, folks. Very nice indeed. So if ever you're asked to help out or something like that to feed some people, you might want to take that up. But a lot of times it's something like this. I mean, there, there are people like that crazy man I saw yesterday, the old man, older than me, and I don't know. He was mad at the air, mad at the air, mad as a hatter at the air, mad hatter. Yeah, he was mad all right, definitely mad. And uh, waving that cane, threatening the air, I, I don't know, mad at the air. <laughs> I don't know what the air did, but did something. And there was someone else posted on my Facebook, this crazy lady who heard like, staying alive or something like that, she's dancing around, but it was music only she heard. Only she did in her head. No one else. Just her head. She's crazy too. These are the kind of people that usually think of homeless. You'll think of some guy trying to live in his car, some woman trying to live in her car, maybe trying to have a life. I've given up on a personal life pretty much. I don't have one. I don't even get to give all that up. I'm just trying to survive. And uh, hopefully see seeing some money tomorrow. In which time I'm going to put some people in my car. I need to get a locker to store the stuff in. I'm going, my car is eating things up. I ate that remote the other day for my stereo. I always thought, well, that's kind of crazy. A remote for a car stereo? A remote for a car stereo? Well, actually, it's really cool. I always kept it in the glove box after I had the stereo put in the car. I kept it in the glove box, never used it. It's a, it's a remote for a car stereo, huh? But anyway, one day it says Bluetooth capability, and my phone has Bluetooth. So I went ahead and I had it running. I was watching TV through my telephone, shows on YouTube, that was free stuff. A, a Voodoo, V U D U, they offer some free stuff too. They're very nice, they offer some free things. And maybe you think, oh, the older I've seen them, well, maybe somebody will see them again. They're free. The price is nice, you know? Can't argue with the folks uh, giving the tea for free. You know, think about it. You know? Get something, uh, watch something on TV. But anyway, I could run through the stereo. It was nice having a remote. There I am in a parking lot, and I'm able to sit back in my chair, recline it, and uh, use a remote, turn it up, turn it down, turn it on, turn it off, blah, blah, blah. It's a, it's a weird thing to have. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't like say, oh, you gotta have that car stereo because there's a remote. No, no, nothing like that. But if it's there and it comes with them, whatever, you have it, fine, okay? You insist, fine. Fine. That's back when I had a life in the home that my thing. But the stereo, I only paid $100 for it from a company online, big company online, big online corporation. They do the business online. And, uh, I guess they knew I was looking for car stereos, and uh, this powerhouse came along real cheap for $99, free shipping. 
And I'm like, oh, okay, well. I don't even know if I mentioned the remote, like I said, the remote had nothing to do with it. It's just I happen to always keep it in the glove box. And I was like, oh, wow, that might be cool. I brought it out. And sure enough, when you sit back and then I go in the passenger seat, I call it like going to another room. I go in my passenger seat, move everything from the passenger side over to the driver's side for a few hours, and sit back, recline the seat somewhat. I mean, it's so crowded in here. It's so packed in here. I can't recline very much. Trying to sleep in here is horrible. I've got to get this storage locker. The last thing's first. I have to get that storage locker, folks. And then uh, things will be a little better. Between that, the uh, membership here, uh, there's places to go that are pretty close. Although I gotta run the car enough that I uh, don't run down the battery like I did once. And it's a brand new battery. It's not even four weeks old until Monday. That's right, Monday. This coming Monday, it'll be four weeks old. Top end battery. Top end. Now, they're all made by National Battery. You know, they have a huge contract. They make them for Pep Boys. Uh, they make them for Walmart. They make them for AutoZone. They make them for everybody. And they have different qualities of batteries that they make. And they put the label on. Whoever, whether it's Walmart, Pep Boys, doesn't matter. They put their label on. They pump them out. They must have a great contract. Whatever the manufacturing must be great. I figure it's three ships a day, 20, 365 days a year. They're always working. Whatever that uh, national batteries, local, where they're making the batteries, where they're actually making them. <clears throat> so I bought a top end battery, they're best for that business that they offer for this car, they're best. It's about $100 with free installation, that was nice. They got rid of the old battery <clears throat> and put that in, that was very nice. But I went this thing down. Why? Because I have a car stereo going, my windows are powered, my sunroof's power, everything's power in here. Which it means I should open my sunroof. I uh, thin the covers the sunroof. We're not in use. Anyway, um, everything's power, and of course it's coming off the battery, and uh, I went to start that. I didn't run the car at all. I went from where I stay up until where I went, and that's only about a mile, and uh, it just wasn't enough, man. It just wasn't enough to be doing all this. Anyway, I go to start my car about 6 p.m. here, 6 p.m., and the thing went start with Coca Cola. Of course, she's a very nice woman, and she jumped me. She's another nomad, and she jumped me. No problem. No problem. She had a little kit. She brought it out, it was in her back floor, right? She brings this thing out, a little battery inside of it. Puts the terminals, on, puts uh, clamps on my terminals, and I go in with the door open, so all my lights are on, interior lights are on, and it starts right up. And it's been running fine ever since. It's a brand new battery, man. It's a good charging system, man. You know? It's a battery. Anyway, and there's another nomad. He parked, oh, well, he hasn't moved his car. He has a bad axle. He managed to get, I don't know if he managed to get the axle out. Because I used to help people with the axle jobs. It becomes a two-man job. But I don't believe on the ground, putting on jack stands, you have the correct leverage. You can't do it. What you need is one, I didn't see, he had his tools out, but I did not know it's a pry bar. You must have a pry bar. And you really need it on a lift. You need to put the car off at eye, well, a little bit below eye level so you have the correct leverage. And use that pry bar. You got to pull out the, uh, you know, where your, uh, where your, uh, uh, disc brake is, your caliper. You got to pry on that out. And then you can slip out the drive shaft. And you got to do that on each side. Well, he's only going to do the one, but I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. He, I don't think you can do it that way. I, I think you need it on a left. Maybe you could do it, uh, jack stands. Maybe, but you gotta have that pry bar, man. You've gotta have that pry bar. You gotta really pry. That's when you need a second person. Now, the thing is, if you put it on jack stands, I wouldn't trust my life in those jack stands. He has. They look too flimsy. You know, I, I don't know. And a scissors jack, uh, again, folks. Uh, 
Don't do that. Don't do that. It's one thing to use the scissors jack, maybe to jack it up enough to put on a jet stand that's good quality. Not something that looks like it's not good quality. And you're putting your head under there, Ooh, that thing falls. Mm. Definitely got a uh, uh, pry bar, man. A big pry bar for the leverage. I know, I've helped it a few hours. The guy pry. And you're going to use, I don't know, 300 foot pounds per square inch. Something like that. You're going to use some real torque on this. Then to pry it out. And then you can slip out the axle. And you can slip in a new one exactly the same way. Reinstall exactly the same way the new one. Put that in. And, uh... Make sure your boots are good before you put this thing on. Because that's what kills a uh, drive shaft is the boots go, the rubber boot. And dirt gets in the grease. And the dirt works its way through the grease into the centripetal CV joint. And it starts eating away. It's very, very precise. And so it's eating away and it clicks. These start getting clicks. So when your boot goes, this little rubber boot, when it goes, the thing only, I don't know, rubber boot, dollar and a half, and uh, $600 labor for a dollar and a half boot, so people ignore it. I mean, your car works, it works fine. It'll continue to work fine for many miles, but eventually it'll go. You know, there's a time limit. I don't know. It's bad, man. There has to be a way to rig it. I can't believe that they couldn't use a hose clamp. But see, it must be flexible. When the drive shaft turn, when your wheel turns, it's changing the length of the drive shafts, right? So they have to be like accordion. They have to be collapsible and expandable. Collapsible and expandable. Eventually they wear out. And that's it, man. You need them changed. Gotta have them change, man. Yeah, so I don't know what he's gonna do, man. Hopefully it's good. So I wanna thank you folks for checking in and give me your time. Don't forget to do is check for uh, living in my car. Uh, Irish traveler, we're nomadic people, we do get around. I'll talk to you folks later. Uh, hopefully it stays dry and it's getting warmer out by you folks. Take care everyone, talk to you later, bye.